Welcome to Boomstick Gaming, this is Alex, and today I'm going to be breaking down all the important basic gameplay mechanics that all new players should know straight from the start in SnowRunner. These tips should help you progress a little more efficiently in the starting hours, and as someone also recently a new player to the series, I have a decent idea of where exactly I got hung up and wasted the most time, so hopefully my failures will now help you all out. First off, let's talk about multiple truck management, which is one of the easiest things to do kind of wrong. As you likely already know, you can switch out to other vehicles in your proximity with that sidebar menu, but there is another very useful way to do this that allows you to hot swap to any vehicle even if it's all the way on the other side of an area. When you're in the map screen, which can also be done when you're in the garage, scroll to that far left objects tab at the top and you'll notice a list of all of your vehicles which can simply be clicked on twice to instantaneously swap to any of them. This means you can have multiple trucks spread out all over the map, and you can try to micromanage numerous tasks, or if you get yourself stuck with important cargo, you can just swap out to another truck and get yourself unstuck. There are a few ways to instantly warp your truck back to your garage at any time, which will repair and refuel it completely for free. One way is to bring up that sidebar menu and just hit recover, or you can bring up the region map and move to the garage that way as well. Now, if you're using only this method to move your vehicles to your garage, you will likely find a predicament where you cannot bring out multiple trucks all at once since you have them all sitting inside your garage. However, if you want to bring out your entire squad and then spread them all over the region, just open up your map, tab back over to objects, and then select garage. This will move you over to your garage while still keeping your truck right where you left it out in the world. You can just keep repeating this method and bring out as many big rigs as you desire. While we're already kind of talking about a lot of map stuff, there are a few other useful things to break down in here as well. If you happen to forget what kind of materials a pickup location provides, simply hovering over them on the map will not show that info, but the objects tab is clutch again, truck joke, and by selecting any location, it will then show little icons representing what they have for offer. Another vital thing to know in here if you're playing by yourself, not in online co-op, is that skip time button down at the bottom. By pressing this, you can instantly switch out the time of day in the world, which is great if you want to avoid the darkness or if you're trying to capture that perfect screenshot. Next, a very important aspect of progressing in SnowRunner is having the funds to do so. Your best method to acquire cash the quickest is to find abandoned trucks that are drivable, not just part of a contract quest, and these, once you're within range, will allow you to swap over and commandeer them. You can now just hit that recover button to send it back to your garage, and you now have a brand spanking new ride to either use for yourself, or to just sell for a huge profit. Selling just a couple of big vehicles early on will allow you to purchase nearly any truck from the shop you could probably want. Now let's take a moment and switch over to talking about that very important winch on your truck. There are two ways to fire this thing off, one of which is bringing up that sidebar menu which will allow you to not only pick where on your truck to attach it to, but also where it will latch onto on the other side. The other way is to use the quick winch shortcut mapped to either Y or triangle on a controller, which will instantly winch onto anything close to you and it will try to pick anything close to where your camera is currently centered, so use that to your advantage. If you find yourself tipping over often, your standard winch will not be able to save you since it will not function when your engine is stalled. However, if you can afford the autonomous winch, which has a built-in power source of its own, you can now pretty much easily save yourself from turtling if there is something nearby to grapple onto. Now switching gears, truck joke, to close this all out, I want to just talk briefly about the way I recommend how you approach progressing overall in SnowRunner. Whenever I get to a new map, first, before any contracts or anything, I get each and every watchtower first, which will show most all the important stuff on your map. After I have that complete, I 100% focus on clearing every single roadblock and finishing every bridge, which you will thank yourself later for doing once we get to the next part. Next, I usually focus on gathering all the available upgrade kits on the map, which will likely make your future travels even easier. And lastly, once we are in total control of the map, that is when I start chipping away at all the contracts and tasks. You of course don't have to do it that way, that's just what I found to be most efficient for how I play. 
With that, that pretty much covers all the basics you absolutely have to know, and I'm sure you already have all-wheel drive figured out so I didn't bother mentioning it, but also keep an eye out for trucks with a differential lock because that can sometimes be just as strong if not stronger than all-wheel drive depending on the situation. Let me know what other early game questions you might have by shooting them to me down in the comments and I'll try my best to get back with you. Now if you happen to enjoy my style of informative gaming content, consider subscribing to the channel for more, ringing that little bell icon if you already are, and you can also find me over on Twitter at BoomstickAlex. Lastly, a special mention to these YouTube members and patrons at the highest tier, who really helped me to make improvements to the channel for everyone watching. As always, this has been Alex from Boomstick Gaming, and keep on keeping on!